All right, ladies and gentlemen, our guest tonight is a film critic at the Boston Globe. It's also the second time he's come on. I'm shocked he came back. We mugged him. All right, welcome Ty Burr, everybody. Ty. Hey, guys. Sir, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. All right. A lot Pleasure to be back. A lot has changed. Actually, uh, I, since just, we're I never left the building. I got lost I know. from last year. I've been wandering around for you. You didn't get lost. We tricked you into oh. a closet. Okay. And, uh, you know, stuff happens. That's what that was. Sometimes keys are lost. Nice they showed movies later. while I was in there. I know. It's, uh, but you have a new book out. Yes, I do. The best old movies for families. Exactly. It is a book that is tailor-made, not for this audience watching tonight. <laughs> lots, of, um, lots of illegits running around. Uh, really? <laughs> lots. Really? Matriculating? I have a few. Okay, good. Good. To I've know. got some teenagers. Okay. Good. To, uh, <laughs> I started when I was six. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> I have some movies for you. I have freaks. Actually. I know. There you go. <laughs> um, yes. I, it's they were in the books when they came out. It's in the right. book. Uh, I, I got the idea for this book because I had two young spawn, two two girls, and uh, they were sitting there watching um, PBS Kids, mm -hmm. and then Nick Jr. And then they moved on to Disney TV, and then they got into High School Musical, and after that, clearly it's Jackass and American Idol. Yeah. So something must There's be done. A something must be done. Now I started watching old movies with them just because that's what I dig, and uh, by which I mean uh, by old movies I mean stuff from like before 1965, right. black and white. Catherine Hepburn, Cary Grant, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and they put up with it and actually kind of dug it. So, so you're telling me that Wild Hogs is not a best uh, family film? I'm saying that's an alternative. Okay, I'm it's saying it's a possibility. If you've got a little NASCAR kid, yeah. take him to Wild Hogs, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and a kid who doesn't like funny movies, who hates funny movies, that's the <laughs> one to go to. No, well, you put it this way, if he laughs at Wild Hogs, yeah. think adoption. Yeah, I know. Okay. I, I agree. <laughs> but, but, you know, William H. Macy, it's a good movie. You can't show him Fargo yet, right? No, well, I did. Oh, well, that explains some things. <laughs> Sometimes that would explain, you need to the, explain how to dispose of bodies. I was going to say, that would explain Start the wood young. chipper. The wood yeah. chipper, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Sometimes it needs to be done. But you, you've really, you've emphasized old movies. Now, is this kind of, you've just got grown tired of all this new crap coming out, or? Because when you see Ice Age 2 for the 800th time, it's yeah. just not giving you much. Yeah. It's yeah. not giving you much. Is he going to get the acorn this time? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I wonder. I, I don't wonder. Know. You know, the kids go to bed, and I play that thing over and over again, hoping that he's going to get the acorn. But Me it too. Happens. Me too. Um, it's, you know, don't get me don't get me started. Don't get me I started, won't get on, started. These, on, the, on these CGI, these computer-generated movies. They I show know. the kids. I don't get them. Um, now it's. Uh, we should just have a film corner where it's, <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get what is this? It's stuff. computers. <laughs> Did you ever see the? There's actually a movie called The Critic. It's a short film with narrated by Mel Brooks well before he made his movies. Really? Yeah, it's animated. It's it's it's. Art. It's animated modern <laughs> art, and Mel Brooks does this voiceover. What is this stuff? They call this art. What <laughs> is this? I don't. What do you think it is? You think he sneezed on the canvas? Yeah. Right? Um, now I, with the, with the old movies, they they watch they watch all their new stuff. They you know they watch the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and all yep. these things that your little brothers and sisters watch. Or I, don't I wanna, watch. I fine. Whichever. In your jammies, in your footy jammies, that's fine. They're comfortable um, with a bendy straw, mm -hmm. and I don't want to take that away from them. Uh, no. But. I found that the nice thing about watching these old movies is they're my, my wife and I can watch them with yeah. our girls and we're not tearing our hair out because it isn't you know, the 800th yeah. viewing of Ice Age 2. Uh, it's fun. It's fun to do something uh, together with a family. Yeah, you no, know? I, you It's know, revolutionary. There I, are a lot of old films that are PG and G that still terrify me. Like I would say The Haunting, not, oh, yeah. not the remake, but that movie, no, the original. Jackson's Haunting, oh, that's is just totally terrifying. Creepy. Oh, oh, well, there's still a family film, but it's like, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to mess what you family? up. family? The Addams Family? Uh, yeah, um, the Manson Family. The Manson Family, right. Um, that would be Psycho. Yeah, uh, totally. You know, they're, well, the thing about a lot of the old movies is that some of them are terrifying. Yeah. Um, I, I made the mistake of showing King Kong, the old King Kong, yeah. uh, the 33 King Kong, to my daughters when they were, like, shoot me now, four and six. Yeah. And I forgot, the reason the Peter Jackson remake is so insanely violent yeah. is an homage to the original, which was insanely, insanely violent, violent for its day. <laughs> Um, because they hadn't set up some of the Hays Code rules. Right. So it's reasonably sexual within the context of its time, but also insanely violent. And there's right. scenes where the where King Kong is ripping the jaw off the Tyrannosaurus Rex and blood is trickling down. And my older daughter started screaming like a fire <laughs> horn. Like, <"Aah!" laughs> and my wife ran in and turned off the TV and just you know, like, gave me a look like, yeah. This is going to show up in divorce court, court buster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that, but at that point, my daughter looked at her and said, what are you doing? Turn it back on. i got to see what happens. So I've warped her. She's yeah. scarred for life. But she finished the movie, and that's what's important. Yeah, I mean, I, this is honestly a book I wish I had as a kid, for my parents at least, because 
When I was a kid, they actually made the mistake. They went to the video store and saw a movie with Aidan Quinn called like The Haunted or something. And it was marked G, but the guy had screwed up. It was supposed to be an NC-17. Oh, excellent. And, and But like we started watching, and the whole movie's about incest. It's right. just this family, this incestual gross relationship, full nudity. And I was with a friend, and my parents didn't like, they didn't know whether to just keep it going or shut it off. And they just felt the best was to just barrel through it and oh, see how we reacted. Oh, and that must have been like, a, that's a teachable moment. Yeah, that's what I was five, is. like incest. <laughs> Explain. What are you doing with his daddy? I know. It was a, oh my god, well, I made the mistake of watching Spank the Monkey. I don't know if you've ever seen that with yeah. my mom. Nice. Um, another insult. Yeah. My stepdad still calls that the movie where the boy dinks his mom. Um, <laughs> ugh, that was yeah. a little awkward. It's not an animal mom. film, yeah. No, it's not. Um, so yeah, you do have to be a little careful. A little careful. Yeah. But you've been on a book tour recently. Uh -huh. Yes, I have. I've been taking it around the East Coast. Yeah. Um, and I've found that basically when you show up to read a book in a Barnes & Noble, um, crazy people show up. Yeah. And that's pretty much about it. Crazy people. I met a really nice guy named Duke, no last name, beard. Yeah. Smelled a little bit of like Sterno, but he knew his old movies. That's so my that father, would, actually. Oh, is that Duke. A, yeah. Well, that would, okay. The Dukester. Yeah, that would explain. That's what we call him. He's the, usually the drunk. The Aiden so. Quinn movie. So. Yeah, pretty uh -huh. much explains it um, all. Now, it's, it's, I've found that if people have to get through, get through me to get to an old movie, if they yep. have a screening along with it, then they'll show up, they'll bring their kids, we'll have a nice conversation. But if it's just me, you know, some schmuck film critic yeah. with a book, uh, it's not enough to get them out on a winter night. Uh, what have you got? I mean, do you get the, bizarre I, questions? or I mean, um, You get a lot of people, especially older people, want to talk about this movie that they saw when they were, you know, five, and it changed them forever, much like the Aidan Quinn movie with Yeah, you. well, it did change me so, forever. <laughs> exactly. So. Um, and uh, it's, it's always personal. It's yeah. always, it always is, is personal and... A lot of weird, cherished memories mm -hmm. out there, and you, you know you gotta indulge them. Now, as a film critic, I imagine like, you you review movies for a job. Now, do you just love sitting down watching a movie, or is it like I oh, not, I gotta I go? Do it on a treadmill, actually. No. I'm yeah. I mean, do you can you enjoy movies, or is it hard to just? Yeah, I do. I mean, actually, that's uh, I somehow try to keep my innocence and sit down. And every time I sit down, I like forget everything I know. Lights go down, and I'm just. Okay, fine. Convince me, entertain me, do whatever, whatever yeah. the movie is going to do, whatever the movie has on its mind, whether it wants to, you know, move me, whether it wants to educate me, entertain me. I want to let the movie do that until such a point when it stops doing it well. Yeah. And I want to, you know, let every movie live up to the best potential of what it's trying to be. Yeah. Um, if it's trying to be a stupid, stupid ass comedy, it better be the best stupid ass comedy. I respect um, that. You know, if it's a Dyson Slice horror movie. Fine, it better, better, it better be do it well, well crafted, maybe some humor, you know. Yeah. I mean, because I, I respect that, because like a lot, I imagine a lot of film critics, when they're watching a movie with their kid, they're just dissecting the movie the whole time, just tearing it apart. Um, oh, oh, Goofy no. movie, this is garbage. <laughs> the composition of this shot with Goofy Jr. makes no sense. Actually, you know what? What's scary is after writing this book for two years with my daughters, they do that now. Yeah. Yeah, my, my, my younger daughter was watching a Hitchcock movie. She goes, nice shot. <laughs> You're well, nine. You're nine. Oh God, what have I done? Created a, another successful columnist. Is oh, what you've done. No. But uh, you can get the communist? book. A communist, you said, or a columnist? Both. Okay, good. If she, uh, you know, if she reads the pamphlets that I've sent your house, mm -hmm. she might be the most successful com columnist, communist. So that's it's a niche, you know. Better but, red uh, than red, I guess. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, but you can get the book at bookstores. It's the it's best actually old in movies. Yes. It's actually in bookstores. And the best old movies for families. For families and at the www.thebestoldmovies.com. Yep. And yeah. also make sure to read the Boston so you know Globe what? and EW. Yeah. Tell your grandparents. Tell your parents. Tell them to give it as gifts. If you want to buy it for yourself, fine, fine. And not show your kids the haunted with Aiden Quinn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, Ty Burr. Thanks All for right. being on the show, Thanks. Ty. Thanks.